hello and welcome to my channel once again today I shall show you how to get the Bure plot from the EIS data you already have obtained during the EIS measurement using the CHI 660E electrochemical workstation so let's see again for my convenience I have kept the raw data files here on my desktop this is the ascii file and this is the bin file let's open the bin file first and see what's there so you can see this is the nyquist plot minus z double prime versus z prime uh, plot and to get the bore plot i should go to the graphics section and then graph options and just click this select this data and you can see bore plot log z bar and phage log frequency so these are the bore plots log z versus log frequency and minus phase versus log frequency however you must be thinking of how to get this kind of bore plots using origin so let's see now let me open the raw data file using excel you can see this is the blank excel workbook and i shall open the raw data file using this so here is the raw data file delimited and it is 17 next separated by comma next and finish so i have got everything here and i shall require this column a that is frequency column e that is phase as well as z impedance okay so let me copy column a first let me paste column a that's frequency values here i have copied that let me copy phase paste now i need to get minus phase so i should multiply column b with minus one and i shall do it first so set up set column values minus one times column b okay now this is frequency the unit is hertz and this is minus page in degree so let me plot it first now i need to convert this x axis x values into log scale so it will be a semi log graph plot okay so let me convert it into log scale you can do it easily using origin just click here and scale and type you just make it log 10 okay and you can change the values here to make the graph look better and i am making it 0.1 okay so i have finally got the bore plot minus phase versus frequency plot and the frequency obviously is in log scale so i hope you have understood how to get this bore plot now i shall show the another bore plot as 
you have seen already in the CHI 660E software. So let's see how to get that. For that, let me copy uh, frequency and the impedance. So copy, make another new workbook, paste here and let me copy impedance, copy and paste it over here, fine. This is frequency unit is hard and this is the impedance. Unit is ohm. Now let's plot this. Now I have to convert y axis as well as x axis in log scale. So again go to scale and it is log 10 okay and this is also log 10 okay and you have to change the scale as well something so one will be fine I guess one and this is fine and the horizontal scale uh, let's say 0.001 so I can change it further 0.1 and this is the impedance versus frequency in log scale Bore plot and one thing you can also do you can take the logarithmic values of column A and column B so I am showing you that also so convert it to X okay so I shall write it log frequency and this is log impedance I'm writing it log z uh, sorry this log and just log of um, column a okay and this is log of column B okay so let's plot it now you can see the Bore plot which you have seen in the CHI 660E electrochemical workstation software so you can do it also however you can do it also okay you can choose this type of plot also you can just convert y and x axis in logarithmic scale so i hope that you have understood how to obtain the Bore plots using the eis data you have obtained during the measurement in chi 660e electrochemical workstation so if you like my video Please don't forget to like it and please do subscribe my channel and it will give me inspiration. I shall be bringing such videos later also. Please keep in touch. Thank you.